hello guys welcome back to our channel once again today we are going to learn how to use SQL server trigger after insertion update my name is Shadas over here I am the database expert so let's discuss about this topic and we will cover the topics under this which are SQL server trigger after insertion update and the second point which we are also going to cover is SQL Server with all the DML statement with after trigger. Next, we will learn the, uh, how to use after trigger with insert and update on another table. And the fourth, we will learn on uh, uh, SQL Server trigger after insert and update on the specific column of the table. As the first topic says, SQL Server trigger after insert update. As a definition. It defines a sort procedure on a database table that is automatically launched or triggered after SQL transactions and done successfully on the designated table is known as after insert update trigger in SQL server. It means that when a stored procedure is done on the database table, uh, it will automatically launch or trigger in the SQL transition by the after SQL transactions, which is done on the, the table which we are applying the trigger. It is known by the after insert update trigger in the SQL server. In this syntax, uh, we have to use the schema name, your trigger name, your data table name, and the SQL statements. Schema name, uh, it is a name of the database in which we will create a trigger in the database. And it is default, and is by default it will create a trigger in the schema in which we are working right now. Your trigger name is the uh, a name of the trigger which we are going to use uh, it can be any name like uh, Jonathan, John Wick, any name which you would like to have as per your choice then we use on 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 we use our table name which we are working the transactions so the name of the table which where the trigger is created and the SQL statements are the body of are the body of a trigger these are the set of operations that can be performed once after trigger is gathered. Let's move to an example for a better understanding of how to use after trigger on the incident update statement in the SQL server. Before we move to the how to create a trigger, let me show you some other uh, important tips as, as I, I can say for that. So if you want to see the all the trigger names from the system then we use this uh, query select name from sys dot triggers this will help you to gather all the trigger name which we have created before or now be created it will show under in, inside the name column so let's execute it so it shows only one d after dml trigger has been created and the second tip is that if you want to drop trigger then use this statement drop trigger statement then name the trigger name dml so it will be deleted out from the that table name if we be i like to see the all the it will show none because i have deleted one trigger which was already created before so let's see how to create a trigger let's write create trigger then i will write trigger name after insert update on i will write canada six after insert update as salad asterisk from Canada states where state ID greater than equal to 15 let's put 20 so these are the uh, things these are the keywords and the things are which are required by the use while you use create trigger statement so let's move to the other query which we have to write let's before I write the insert query, I need to see how many columns are there inside the Canada States table. So I will write select asterisk from Canada States. Let's see how many queries, uh, how many columns are there inside it. Say state ID, full name, state name and zip code. I will write the new record insert into Canada States where okay values so let's see the what is the last record inserted is 39 number i'm going to write 40 then i will write the full name as uh, john wick then i will write the state name is novet then i will write the unknown number as a zip code for the state 
of the Canada. I will write this and I would want to execute this one. I will write up if I want to also update one column. So I will write update Canada states set full. I'm going to do a uh, full name as Tom Holland to Tom Hardy. This is per it is my choice for that one. Uh, where state ID is equal to 20. Nine. So let's use the create trigger statement. Once it is done, so what it will happen in the after trigger? After trigger is going to do one thing. It will update and insert the record first. The insert record will be uh, inserted. Then an update statement will be updated that column which we are trying to do it by the update statement. After that, the SQL statement which has been written inside the as clause it will Execute it and solve the result set. So let's execute the create trigger query. It is done and it showed the new record which has been inserted is John Wick. And I have tried to update the 29 Tom Hardy's Tom Holland to Tom Hardy. Let's see. 29. Let's see. Tom Hardy. I hope this concept has been cleared up. Before I move to the next topic, I have swap I have a soft and humble request to all my lovely peoples that please like the sh like share and subscribe to our channel for more video like this we will bring more video in order to help you and improve your skills in the SQL server so now let's move to the next topic so here in the next topic says that we are going to use after trigger on the all the three dml statement which is insert update and delete here is a syntax for that part let's use an example for that so i'm going to change your small changes in the the previous example before i change it i'm going to do one small thing i will use drop trigger the reason for deleting the tr trigger is that sometimes like what happens now that you have created one old trigger for that trigger. Now you are creating a new trigger. What will happen? Sometimes it puts uh, old triggers uh, execution as a result set in the new trigger. To, to in order to avoid the, as that as a confusion part, just try to drop that trigger name or just disable that trigger name. I will write after insert update so now this trigger has been deleted out so as this trigger has been executed successfully so, so the trigger this has been deleted from the database current database which we are using right now so let's execute this query once again in this i have to write one more thing for the delete statement i have made a small changes if you see clearly that in the update in order to update the new value of the full name column you know, in the id 33 Tom Hardy. It has going to update that column first. Then after that, we delete that column. If we also switch it, you know, like if I use a delete statement first, then I, I put the update statement. There will be no record. It has been like put a no changes for, for the execution part. So let's execute the create trigger statement. Completed. New record has been inserted. Let's see 41 Matthew Dan Yukon. And I will update in this column. Let's see the 33 number, which is Tom Hardy once again. I'm going to delete this record. Yep. Now oh, it has been deleted. I hope this concept has been cleared out based on the insert, update, and delete statement with the help of the after trigger in the SQL server. Suppose if you want to delete the trigger name, okay. Here's another thing like. I'm using this trigger name after insert break on the Canada state table. So go inside the your current database, then the, your table name, there's a folder called triggers. Go inside it and after that delete it. It has been deleted. Okay. Maybe your con I have just revised your old conception once again. So let, let's move to the third topic. Let's see in the third topic and it says that the SQL server trigger after insert update another table. So what is uh, the topic is trying to say that when we use the insert and update statement with after trigger, we have to update uh, and insert the record in the another table. For that we all there is one 
term called inserted and deleted table so as it defines the inserted the inserted process says that when we use the insert statement when the new record is inserted in the table uh, that record will be also available in the inserted table also for the process only and it, with the update statement it will do the same thing when i update some that column that will be also available in the inserted table so let's use it and see it in the example part so let's see what happens inside is when i execute and i will need to change create a new trigger so i will use after dml statement this is executed new record will be inserted oops oh here shows a mistake try to avoid sometimes sometimes this silly mistake which happens with all our all, all programmers and then insert this record when i update this one it will show in the inserted table see So that record is also available in the inserted table and hope this concept has been cleared out for you. Moving on to the last topic for our video. SQL Server trigger after insert on the specific column. There is no changes uh, required. We have to only use the insert and update statement with the after trigger in the SQL Server for to change the specific column. Let's move to the example part. In the last topic what we are trying to do is that by using the update statement we are trying to change the specific column of the of the table so first i created a trigger after dml on the canada states table then i have used after trigger on insert and update statement in the as well we have written the sql statement which is select this canada from the canada states where state are is greater than or equal to 36 then I have written the insert record and I have written the base statement first I ask you this one oh it has been done a new record will be inserted out so what mistake I was doing in the insert record that I was putting the same record by the number 42 which was a uh, putting error of the violation of primary key constraint so this is also said that uh, cannot insert the duplicate key in the object of the DOBO do, do, do Canada says so let's see this insert record here show the last record 43 Canada header and the uh, and I update the 36 to Chris Brown to Ross. As you see, it will 36, 36. I hope this concept has been cleared out for you. If you having any problem, just give us any question in the comments. We'll let you know and give the answer for that question.